absolutely heartbreaking to watch these families having to flee repeatedly as the fighting closes in. Uh, in fact, Reuters was just reporting that a helicopter was shot down, and we saw from where we are a ball of flame dropping down from the skies just a short while ago. But people here are really feeling as if the flight, the fighting is closing in on them. You have large sprawling camps throughout, but then you also have these smaller makeshift camps that are being established as families leave. This family in this tent, they arrived yesterday, but they're actually planning on leaving again because the fighting is closing in on them, and they've already been displaced numerous times. They don't know where to go. And if you just take a look at these conditions that they're having to live in, the children don't even have proper shoes. This is um, Fadja we met earlier today. And she was telling us that sometimes she looks at her kids and she just wishes that they would all die instead of having to live like this. Uh, the thing that she's most afraid of is the planes. They're afraid of the bombings. They're afraid of they're afraid of the cold. And this is becoming a bigger issue as these temperatures here do tend to drop well below freezing. Yesterday we met a family whose baby, the doctor said, died because of the cold. The mother was in complete shock and she was telling us how she woke up in the morning and just found her seven month old baby ice cold in terms of trying to stay warm Badia was telling us that they burn anything that they can they burn coal but they'll burn wood sometimes she says they even burn rubber and they're thinking about leaving here because they don't feel like this particular area is safe either you can hear the bombings uh, here happening fairly regularly and they really feel as if they're being suffocated and that is the overarching sentiment throughout this entire area where these families are just being pushed into an ever shrinking space and for so many of them especially the parents they don't know how to keep their children safe anymore they say that their fate is in god's hands right now because they don't believe that anyone is actually going to come uh, and save them at this stage allison 800,000 people have been on the move in Idlib province in the last two months. And that's adding to the million that is already displaced at Turkey's border and have been displaced there for years. As so many humanitarian organizations are saying, this is a crisis that they cannot handle. And right now, this is a crisis that is only going to get worse unless there's some way to stop the fighting.